Yo, what's up guys? This video is gonna be super quick, but I just wanted to keep you guys updated on my code unit. A lot of you guys keep asking me what my code unit is gonna be or when is it coming? And to that, I have to say, guys, it is coming. <laughs> I promise you it is coming. This is ASTD we're talking about, so you can't expect the code or update to drop as soon as I hit 100k. But I promise you that I'm working really hard to get it out and it is coming. And to answer your question who the code unit's gonna be, uh, I'm pretty sure I revealed it multiple times now, but just to be sure, I'm just gonna tell you guys again. It's gonna be a pizza girl, and no, I'm not talking about CC from Pokey, yes, I'm talking about Irie Katagiri. And if you don't know who that is, she's actually from the anime called Erase. And as you guys know, well, most of you guys know, my favorite anime of all time is literally Dragon Ball, so I know it's weird for me to not pick Dragon Ball, but there's so many Dragon Ball characters already in this game. For example, there's like 80 different Goku variants. <laughs> Look, you can just check right now. Look at all these Goku variants. So I couldn't do Goku. There's so many Vegeta variants. I just couldn't do Vegeta. Like, I wanted to do a Dragon Ball unit, trust me. But number one, all of them are all taken. And number two, there just isn't any cool characters left. Like, they put all of them in the game already. So that's the reason I didn't pick a Dragon Ball character. And I just went with the pizza girl. Fun fact about Irie, she actually has the same birthday as me, and I just thought that was really cool. So I was like, yo, this has to be my code unit. Like, it's just made to be. It was just so crazy to me that an anime character could be revolved around pizza, and then they have the exact same birthday as me, and I actually love the anime. So yeah, it was just the perfect pick for me. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I just want to give you guys an early look at the code unit. I'll just go ahead and put it up on screen now so you guys can see. But here's the model that's being made for the code unit. Unfortunately though, I'm still trying to get in contact with the guy so I can actually buy the model. But I think he's in another time zone, so that's going to take a minute. And you guys are probably thinking like, what? You have to pay for your code unit? I know guys, it really sucks. But at the same time, I'm not really mad because my good friend T-Boy, he's a really good contributor. He's the one who made Ultra Instinct in and a bunch of other units and blessings so yeah guys don't worry my code unit is in good hands when it comes to quality it's gonna be fire because t-boy is just the goat no glaze by the way but shout out to t-boy for reaching out and much love to him but uh, yeah guys, that's basically the whole rundown of what's going on right now. I'll give you guys a quick little recap. I basically had to pay for the code unit model so I could send it over to T-Boy and then he could get to working on it. And then after that, it should be ready pretty soon. But I can't tell you guys how soon. You're just gonna have to be patient. <laughs> but trust me, it's in good hands. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.